Hi, my name is Michael Yannick, but you can call me Sylvester Productions. I am a 19 year old creative who is from Poland but based in Ireland. And in the past two or so years of my life, I have travelled all around Europe, exploring different countries, different cultures, and taking you along in this YouTube channel. I take photos, videos, make blogs, I do posters, I also do a lot of written content such as storyboarding, etc. I'm an all-round creative. So join me on my next adventure. In the end of May 2018, I'm going backpacking alone around Europe for 11 days. And I'm going to around three countries, these being Germany, Malta and Switzerland. I'm going to take all of these along with me to explore these countries and see them as I've seen them myself. So, without further ado, day one. Frankfurt. Welcome to Frankfurt. I'm looking for my train and I think it's coming in two minutes from Cav Bear Russian. I'll show you the city in a few. As you have seen, I have made it to Frankfurt, the center of the town, at the main train station just two minutes ago. I don't really have a plan for today, but the weather is gorgeous. It's about 25 degrees, and I still have around seven hours here, so I'll be doing a lot. First up, I think I'm going to the main tower, which is a huge tower in the center of Frankfurt with a gorgeous viewpoint. My first impression of Frankfurt, well, it's like, 10 a.m., half 10 right now, and it's super quiet. There's a lot of people on bikes and just people enjoying life. But it's Saturday as well, so I'd say like, Paris will crank up during midday, like 12 p.m. So one of these towers, one of these like six towers, has a nice view on top. I'm not sure which one it is though. This is its main tower, the big circular round one. So this tower stands at 190 meters. That's really high. That's one of the highest towers in Europe that you can actually go on. And the platform has been here for nearly five years. And it's absolutely wonderful. The views are great and super well done to get in here. It cost me five euro. That was the student price. And they also do like an airport baggage checkage, which is fine. I recommend the main tower if you're in Frankfurt. In good sunshine, definitely go check this out. That's the airport right there main train station a really nice art museum is right beside this building and there is other Frankfurt that's a more modern side of it then I'm going to the old town which is right directly ahead right there and then a few museums along the river right beside our church is Rommerberg Square absolutely beautiful it has really nice buildings it kind of reminds me of Czech Republic. One thing that I've noticed about Frankfurt, there's a lot of Germans. I know it's like Germany, Germany, it's, it's, it's German, but I expect there to be more tourists, more English speaking people, more like Japanese, etc. But no, there's just like maybe 80% Germans right now. Nothing wrong with that, but just a talk. The Museum of Modern Art here in Maine happens to be free today. Wonderful. So let's talk about that museum and that exhibition. It's a museum of modern art and today was a free photo exhibition. It was by various artists. Most of them were based in Germany or like originated in Germany. But it was like an exhibition around the whole world. Absolutely beautiful. I walked around there. I got a little photo pass thingy after I signed off my details. Pretty, pretty handy stuff. I was allowed to take photos and videos of stuff but I'm not allowed to like publish them commercially which is fine for YouTube 
and what about else I really enjoyed it there was a good bit of like inspirational work but most of it was street photography and I'm not really into that but like as print work goes it was fabulous now I'm off to the old town the Alstadt and then I'm not sure <laughs> An actual printed map, this is perfect. So train station is somewhere here. I went here to the main tower, right here. Then this is where the museum is. And now I'm going to the old, old town, which is around this area. It's a bit further to the right as well. This Rammerberg is where I want to be. This is perfect. And then there's museums along the whole river. So I'm walking along the street leading up to the old town and I can't find a main shop like a big supermarket or food store. So I walked in the pharmacy and I found one liter of water for 90 cent. It's not a bargain, but like I'm happy with it and it tastes good. That is the main tower. It can be seen from pretty much anywhere. It's massive and it's the circular one. And I'm going directly parallel to it, right behind me, to the old town. Have a look. That's it. That's the old town. Uh, remember how I mentioned that there is a lot of Germans speaking German? Well, that's still the case, but I'm seeing a lot more tourists popping out in like city sightseeing buses, and people in shops actually, actually speak English, so that's wonderful, like unanticipated but perfect. Why well, I am Polish and that is my national flag. <laughs> this is amazing. As you see, I am in Rummerberg Square. It's absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of people and just chit chat. There's cafes, restaurants, beer gardens where you can just drink beer. It's great I and mean, it's super chill. I'm enjoying it, especially in this weather. It's like 27 degrees. Perfect. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that big building that looks like a church behind me is Frankfurt Cathedral. It's huge, it's brilliant, it's very old and it's very dark. I'm gonna go inside. Hopefully it's a tiny bit better. Right, so I'm kind of right behind the cathedral, right beside the area I just was just at, and there is a free art gallery, so I'm probably just gonna head out again. Like another gallery, what, the third one today? Brilliant stuff. Well, I don't really believe it, but there's like a wedding going on in the cathedral and the big church. So we're actually not allowed in. No pedestrians, no tourists are allowed in. So I just kind of walked out and yeah, I'm going to cross the river, see the river and see a few museums. Got a handy tip. So I've pretty much seen most things I want to see in Frankfurt, apart from the few museums I'm going to now. But I still have four hours left. So what would you do now? Well, whatever it is, scrap that. What I do is I follow tourists or people that look like tourists because they normally know what they're doing. They have a tour guide or they have maps. And normally it works out really well. You get to see nice places, nice Instagram locations. It's really damn cool. So try that next time. A 50 minute boat tour is around 9 euro and you go along the main river and you see a lot of the main attractions in Frankfurt. There's also a longer tour for a bit more. I have personally just kind of like walked around and seen him. So yeah, if you haven't, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's fine. Come in. Oh, 
I have just spotted a bunch of stalls across the river. I'm heading that up, then going back to the other bridge. Then going back to the town, there's a big shopping center around that side. So, the market is a weekly market that is found right along the main river. It's across from the old town and it's absolutely huge. It's massive. I didn't even look at it all yet. I'm going to come back right now. And what do you find here? Well, you find a lot of clothes and a lot of like scrap stuff. So you have like jewelry, watches, random old cameras, etc. It's basically a vintage car boot sale or vintage flea markets brilliant stuff I really enjoyed looking through everything I didn't purchase anything yet but I have an eye out for a few things that I might buy so yeah and by the way it opens from 9 a.m. to the public one pretty funny thing is happening over and over again I'm being talked to in German I mean that's not a bad thing it means I fit in which is brilliant it's probably my blonde hair you know blue eyes I'm pretty pale so three things work really well and I also am Polish, so that's kind of similar. But yeah, it's just kind of a thing that I've noticed. Like everybody's talking to me in German. Not even trying English, just German. You probably can't make that out, but I'm just crossing the river back to the side with the train station. And I found that there is a supermarket along the same road as the train station. It's just a bit north. So yeah, that is some great news to me. I'm going to get some water, some baguettes, and maybe like some peanuts and a bit of mango. I'm going to spend this next minute or so just talking about Germany and my first impressions of it. But bear in mind that I'm using Frankfurt as a reference because this is the only place I've really been to properly. So, let's talk. Germany is not what you think it is. Like, I've heard bad stories like horror stories of people being shouted at, not people not being friendly towards tourists and just stuff like that but that's not true and although I'm sure there are some unfriendly people because like every place has them but in Germany in Frankfurt it was so nice and it's still so nice like I go into a shop and everybody tries to speak German first and English to me and it's super nice they're helpful they're smiling and you're not on edge you're not stressing me out it feels very safe as well so that's really nice <laughs> 